Hello and welcome to Gear Locker, where we test out microphones that come into my collection for all sorts of reasons. Today we're not going to test any microphone, but instead we're going to co uh, be comparing our microphone boosters, primarily our Clark Technic CT1, our Triton Audio Fethead, and finally our Cloudlifter CL1. Okay, so we will be comparing these three microphone boosters in this video. So all of the mic boosters all perform the same task. They add a significant amount of gain, around 25 decibels of clean gain. When we say clean, it means that unlike adding our gain post-recording or through our software, which tends to introduce signal noise or amplify signal noise, these mic boosters will not introduce that type of noise in your recording. So it would boost the signal, but not the signal noise. So it's very important if you're using a microphone like uh, the SM7B or the RE20 or the SM57, these are microphones that are dynamic and are uh, notorious for needing a lot of gain to have a good enough signal, much alone if you're going to record vocals on it. So for our testing methodology, we will be using a Shure SM57. So this is a dynamic instrument microphone. This is known for needing a lot of gain uh, just to be audible. And it's uh, similar. it has a similar capsule to the SM7B, which makes it a comparable, slightly comparable to the two microphones. So we will be testing our SM57 on my Behringer uh, UMC404 HD interface, max gain without any filters, and even a limiter. So all of the tests will be conducted without any filters, even a limiter. So you will hear clipping in this test. Okay. So after recording with the mic alone, without any boosters, we will be now attaching our microphone boosters to our SM57. Then I'm going to set the gain at 12 o'clock, then uh, start the record. If it clips, I'm going to slowly turn back the dial until we hear no clipping. Then I will report the final gain setting to you. Okay, We're going to start with our cheapest one the Clark Technic CT1. Then we're going to move on to the next in price, which is our Fethead. And for the last, we will be using our Cloud Lifter. Okay, so let's go on testing these microphones, uh, these microphone boosters. So here is our baseline reading for our SM57. This is the SM57 without any mic boosters attached, and the gain is set at maximum. This is a test, this is a test, this is a test. This was the SM57 without any mic boosters on, and here it is what it sounds like. And here is the Shure SM57 with our Clark Technic CT1 mic booster. The mic is set or the gain is set at 12 o'clock and we're hitting around a maximum of negative 15 decibels. The gain is set at 12 o'clock so this is significantly less compared to our mic alone with the max gain and let us slowly increase the gain until it starts to clip. Microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test so around three two two o'clock no one o'clock microphone test so around one o'clock is uh, the point in which you will start to clip now i'm hitting around negative three or negative six and I only have around 1 o'clock of gain, so it adds around 
that much that amount of gain so this was the sure sm57 with our clark technic ct1 this is a test and this is what it sounds like our final gain before it clips is around one o'clock okay so next we have our sm57 with our fat head attached the gain is at around 12 decibels or i mean the gain is around at 12 o'clock and this is how it sounds like so i'm going to slowly increase the gain until it starts to clip on my interface starting now microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test and around two o'clock is the point in which it clips so i'm going to pull back a little bit microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test okay so it's very similar to the performance of our clark technic ct1 our fat head is so it starts to clip at around two similar to the clark technic ct1 and this is how it sounds like so this has been our fat head with our sm57 this was the test for the sm57 with our fat head and for our final test this is the sure sm57 with our cloud lifter so as you can see the cloud lifter is slightly different from the first two in which you actually need two xlr cables i'm using two xlr cables for this setup but it does have the advantage of a locking mechanism uh, in, in meaning you can't accidentally as accidentally pull out the cable without intending to so here is the sure sm57 at around 12 o'clock gain and i will be slowly increasing it until it starts to clip this is a test this is a test this is a test this is a test so it starts to clip at around i'd say between two and three but i think it's a lot uh it's a little bit farther than our clark technique or our fat head so this is the point in which it starts to clip and let's pull back until we don't hear any more clipping microphone test microphone test microphone test microphone test so this should be a comfortable recording level at around one o'clock it's uh, the clip, i'm sorry one o'clock okay around one o'clock so this is the sm57 with our cloud lifter <clears throat> so those were the comparisons between our clark technique ct1 fathead and our cloud lifter cl1 so which ones did you like best personally it was hard for me to tell the difference since they all roughly performed the same and i think it would be best left to personal preference on which one you would be getting what is clear though is that they ha they all added significant amount of gain to our sm7 sm57 so I think that is the best reason for you to buy one of these mic boosters. If you have a sensitive, uh, less sensitive microphone and you're getting a really weak signal and it's a dynamic microphone, you could use one of these mic boosters to increase your signal strength. So that is all for our simple comparison of our mic boosters. If you would want to get one of those sampled boosters for your own, Aragaki Audio sells the Clark Technic CT1, CM1, the Fathead, and the Fathead, the Dynamite, and the Cloud Lifter in our store. Just message us on our page and we'll be happy to assist you with your purchase. Again, thanks for watching and see you again next video.